for those of you who may or may not have heard, there is a gigantic lawsuit going on in the real estate industry. It's really simple. In real estate, agents must be members of a multiple listing service in order to put their listings in there. In most cases, those multiple listing services are controlled and operated by the local or the state board of realtors. The National Association of Realtors says that if you put a listing in the listing service that you must have an offer of cooperation. There were sellers in a couple of Midwest states who said, look, you colluded to cost me more money. So they're saying I could have not paid the buyer's agent commission. I could have saved that and still sold my house. Now, I think that's a flawed argument because the reality is, is that sometimes the commission that gets paid to a buyer's agent, let's say it's, you know, two and a half or three percent to the seller's agent or two and a half to three percent. It's fully negotiable depending upon who you're doing business with to the buyer's agent. Yes, it's negotiable. But but if you don't offer cooperation, buyer's agents might choose to show other properties. Now, that's a whole other problem that we need to deal with. The National Association of Realtors was sued, Keller Williams, Remax, Anywhere, which is Coldwell Banker, Century 21, all those other big brands, and Berkshire Hathaway Home Services were all sued. Remax and um, uh, Anywhere settled. I think Anywhere was somewhere in the $80 million. Remax was in the $55 million. They didn't settle, I don't believe, because they thought they were doing anything wrong. They settled because they didn't want their broker owners and franchisees and agents all over the country to worry about having this cloud over their head for the next few years. So this case is going to be going to trial. And here's what I think is going to happen. I think they're going to decouple the buyer's agent commission from the listing agent's commission. So meaning a listing agent could put a listing in the listing service and put an offer of cooperation of 0%. I think brokerages are going to have to agree that, well, you'll still show the property, which means the buyer could very well be responsible for paying their agent. I think it's going to do us good because the reality is, in many cases, buyers, agents didn't really do a good job of, number one, explaining how they would earn their fee. And then sometimes they didn't even do a good job of earning their fee. And I think it will add a whole other level of professionalism and accountability to the buyer agent side of the business. So do I think it'll change things much? Probably not, because I think home sellers are going to want to have as much exposure as they can. If they can get more exposure by paying two and a half or three percent on the buyer side, they might very well sell the house for two and a half or three percent more. It is my belief, and this and a quarter will get you what a quarter will buy you, that sellers were not harmed by having to pay a buyer's agent commission i would tell you that the sales price probably increased by at least enough to pay the buyer's agent commission